February 1st is National Signing Day, where high school football players officially sign with the college of their choice. And for 23 student athletes, that choice was Ball State University. The Cardinals signed one quarterback from just down the street. Ozzy Mann from Delta High School impressed Coach Lembo from day one. Just amazed at how Ozzy did everything on film that you would ask a quarterback to do. Almost every throw from, from the field outs to the slants to the fades. You saw him as a junior do everything that you'd like to see from a video standpoint. And for man to throw to, four wide receivers were signed. And possibly headlining that group is Kevon Mabin from St. Louis, Missouri. Kevon Mabin from, from St. Louis, a big physical receiver. And when you look at a lot of the all-conference receivers in the MAC, they have been bigger kids. They've been 6'1 plus, uh, 190 to 205 pounds. Um, so there, there is some, some validity to some bigger guys having some success in this league. While most players' positions are already determined, there are still a few up in the air, notably Stuart Turner, who can play both defensive back and wide receiver. We would prefer to play him as a slot wide receiver. When you watched his junior and senior film, you were equally as excited about him as a corner as you were as a wide receiver. And one of the things I really enjoyed about getting to know Stewart was from day one, he's always said, Coach, however I can help the team. As for the best get in this year's recruiting class, well, Coach Lembo doesn't like to use such markers. His comments of O-lineman Josh Smith, however, were nothing but the highest of praise. Sure. Well, first of all, Josh's junior film was amazing. Uh, very athletic, runs extremely well, very powerful, very explosive, uh, a, a finisher, uh, a guy who was constantly getting downfield on blocks, a guy that was constantly pulling and getting out on the perimeter on run plays and screens. And instead of trying to project the individual athlete, Coach Lembo chooses to focus on things he can control, like class retention. To me, it's far more important that we're talking about who's playing three or four years from now and how many of these guys are still with us. And hopefully, a lot of them have redshirted and been given the time to develop physically, mentally, emotionally, get acclimated to life at Ball State and so forth. For Ball State Sports Link, I'm Pat Boylan.